Boutique from Service Bro and I'm going to show you how to start shingling with asphalt shingles. This is on a small little shed that I built. As you can see, what you do first is uh, you're going to put down a starter course over your tar paper or your ice and water shield. Now um, I didn't have a starter course so what I did is I flipped a regular shingle upside down. So this is actually, this would be the bottom, so this is the bottom now and that's going to be my under course. Now what I did is I nailed some three quarter onto my my fascia so I know how far out to come and I did the same thing on the front here too. So you get a nice straight edge and you basically since you started with the full piece you don't want the seams to match up. You start now with the three quarter piece. You line it up right to the edges Make sure it's all nice and nice and straight. And you nail it down. Now the um, code, they recommend to put six nails into each shingle. And where you want to nail it is right where this double layer is, right up in here, this line right here. So the next shingle is going to come over and then hide that nail. So, it's basically where you want it. You don't want to nail up here, and you obviously don't want to nail down here. So right here is the best. You nail too high, the shingles are just going to rip off with, with uh, high wind. And uh, once you get that one nailed down, I only have one hand, so I'm going to show you real quick. And then you start with a half. The next one would be a half. So the next one you put is a half. I have it right here. Now you line it up right at this lip right here. As you can see, basically right there. Line it up. You nail that guy down. Make sure he's nice and straight. Your edge is good over here. You nail him down. And then the next one is going to be a quarter. These are old shingles I had just lying around. So. Next one will be right like that. Actually, let's get a better, better piece. Just like that. Nail it down, and then after that, you do a full one. So the most important thing is make sure you nail in the right area. Um, I put a little block, like I said, as a gauge to know how much it hangs over. And then you you just you stagger them like this, and uh, you just nail them down, and uh, you'll have a waterproof shed. Or if you're working on the house, you'll have a nice waterproof house. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Teague from Service Pro, and um, please visit my website, servicepro.com.